Our universe may be contained within a black hole that is itself part of an even larger universe. At the same time, all black holes discovered in our universe so far, from microscopic to supermassive, are doorways to alternative and unexpected worlds. According to a new theory, black holes are actually tunnels, like wormholes or wormholes, between universes. What the black hole absorbs during its existence does not disappear into the abyss of the singularity, a mysterious cosmic structure that cosmologists have yet to explain, but erupts as a kind of white hole in the fountain opposite the black hole. So in a few words we can state the main stipulations of this theory. In an article published in Physics Letters B, physicist Nikodem Poplowski of Indiana University outlines a new mathematical model of the spiral motion of matter falling into a black hole. His equations show that such channels are an alternative to the space-time features predicted by Albert Einstein at the center of a black hole. According to Einstein's equations of general relativity, these wormholes should occur at the heart of a black hole where the density of matter in this region is too high. Einstein's theory shows that wormholes do not occupy space, they have no body, are infinitely dense and infinitely hot. This concept, supported by much indirect evidence, is so strange and unusual that most scientists accept it with many reservations. If Poplowski is right, they will have to dampen the level of skepticism a little. According to the new equations, the problem of black holes will be absorbed and disappear, actually leaving our universe and becoming the building blocks of another reality, galaxies, stars and planets in another universe. According to Poplowski, the idea of black holes, such as wormholes, can explain some of the mysteries of modern cosmology. For example, the Big Bang Theory suggests that the universe began at a singularity. However, scientists do not have a satisfactory explanation for how this singularity formed. If our universe was generated by a white hole rather than a singularity, this would solve the problem of black hole singularities and Big Bang singularities. Wormholes could also explain the explosions that caused gamma ray bursts, the second most powerful explosive process in the universe after the Big Bang. Gamma ray bursts occur in the universe far away from us. They seem to be associated with the explosion of stars in distant galaxies, but their exact cause is a mystery. Poplavsky believes that these explosions could be the ejection of matter from other universes. Matter, he says, can flow into our universe through supermassive black holes, wormholes, in the heart of these galaxies. But it is not clear how this actually happens. Theorists cannot yet describe this process in equations. It's kind of a crazy idea, but who knows? Poplavsky said, there is at least one way to test his theory. Some black holes in our universe rotate, and if he is born inside a black hole whose rotation is synchronized with his rotation, obviously he must have inherited the rotation of the mother object. If future experiments show that our universe is rotating in the right direction, this would be indirect evidence for the stipulations of the wormhole theory, Poplavsky stressed. Wormhole theory also helps to explain why certain features of our universe deviate from theoretical predictions. Some conclusions of existing theories of the Big Bang suggest that the curvature of the universe should then increase over time, and that now, 13.7 billion years later, we appear to be on the surface of a closed, spherical universe. However, observations have not confirmed this prediction, as the universe is flat in all directions. Furthermore, data on radiation from the time of the very early universe show that its temperature after the Big Bang was the same everywhere. This means that the most distant objects we see at the horizon on the other side of the universe, like gas molecules in a sealed chamber, are close enough to interact and come to equilibrium. The most distant objects in the observable universe are the ones that are the most distant, because the time required to travel between them at the speed of light exceeds the age of the universe, so observations are not consistent with predictions and not coincide with predictions. Inflation theory states that the universe experienced rapid growth shortly after its emergence, during which time the universe itself expanded at faster than the speed of light. The expansion stretched the universe from a size smaller than an atom to astronomical scales in just a few seconds. Therefore, the sphere we are in is so large from our point of view that the universe appears flat. The Earth's sphere looks flat to a person standing in a field inflation, 
also explains how objects that are very far apart interact once they lie close enough inflation is a real thing. However, assuming inflation is real, astronomers have always found it difficult to explain what caused it. It is here that new theories of wormholes become relevant. According to Poplavsky, some theories of inflation predict that it was caused by exotic matter, a theoretical entity that differs from ordinary matter, particularly in that gravity repels it rather than attracting it. He predicts that it was caused by exotic matter. Relying on his equations, Poplavsky believes that such exotic matter could form when some of the first giant stars collapsed and became wormholes. There may be some connection between the exotic material forming the wormhole and another exotic material that caused the inflation, he noted. The model proposed by Poplavsky is not the first to assume the existence of other universes or black hole. American theoretical physicist Damien Eason discovered something in his work on black holes. What is new in Poplavsky's theory is the wormhole solution in general relativity, which forms a passage from the outer black hole to the new universe. In our work, we assumed that such a solution could exist, but Poplavsky found a real solution. Eason stressed, referring to Poplavsky's equations, he was not involved in this work. Nevertheless, the idea is still very speculative, Eason said. He said, is the idea feasible? Yes. Is the scenario likely? I don't know. But it is definitely an interesting opportunity. Future research that takes into account the implications of the theory of quantum gravity. The study of gravity at the atomic level could clarify the equations and potentially support or refute Poplavsky's theory. Andreas Albrecht, a physicist at the University of California, who was not even involved in the new study, said, In general, the wormhole theory is interesting, but it is not groundbreaking in explaining the origin of our universe. By saying that our universe was created by matter scattered from the mother universe, the theory merely changes the initial events of the creation of an alternative reality. In other words, the theory does not explain how the mother universe came into being or why it has the unique properties of our universe. It is unclear which of the pressing problems we are trying to solve really exist and which are making real progress, notes Albrecht. However, he has found no other ideas to explain the existence of universal wormhole bridges other than the idea of a black hole singularity, and he notes that he rejects new theories because they sound a bit unusual. Everything discussed in this study is very strange, Albrecht stressed. We don't know if there are even fewer strange ideas that could win in such a duel.